Uh, hi, uh, my name is Yunlong Liu uh, from the Department of Medical and Molecular Genetics. From this module, we will start to talk about uh, next generation sequencing data format. There are three standard data format for next generation sequencing, FASTQ, SAMBAM, or BCF files. The FASTQ files are the raw sequencing information, all those ACGTs. The SAM or BAM are the sequence alignment information, which means if you got a sequence, which part of the genome may come from, and that this file format will document that information. The last part is the VCF, which is variant information, which is for a specific genomic location. Uh, is there a SNP or indels? And those documentation will be recorded in the VCF format. In this module, we'll focus on the FASTQ files. FASTQ file is a text-based format for storing biological sequences. As being shown in this example, there are four different lines. The first line is a sequence identifier, and normally it is the genomic location, not genomic location, the physical location of that nucleotide race on the flow cell that we use for sequencing. So for each individual flow cell, every single sequencing rates we got will have a unique identifier so they can be distinguished from each other. The second line is straightforward, that is the, the sequence rate, the nucleotide sequence ACGTs. The third line so far is still empty, being reserved to add comments. And the last line is actually the quality information, although it is not humanly readable. So we'll spend the next couple of slides talking about the fourth line, which is the quality information. There is a, a conversion that we need to use to calculate the quality, which, which is a Q value is equal to minus 10 log 10 P. This P is actually the probability of making mistake. For example, if P is equal to 0 0.01, that means we will have 1% of a chance that to make a mistake if we say this particular nucleotide is A or C or G or T. So when P is equal to 0 0.01, as you can see very easily that this Q value is equal to 20. So some of you may heard that Illumina sequencer often comes with uh, our sequencing rate are very accurate and the Q30 is 90%. So what that really means? That really means 90% of the nucleotide they reported have the quality which is larger than 20, uh, 30, in which this calculation, the P is 0 0.001, which means they will have less than 0.1% of opportunity making mistake. So that's why they're using this as a quality measure for their sequencing rates. But uh, although we say this calculation, but remember the fourth line in the previous slide is not a number, it's not 20, not 30, not 25. Actually, it's a character. So what that documented is uh, another step that we need to take care of, which is encoding. And, uh, and the, the explanation for this is ASCII code encoding for the quality score. So it sounds like overwhelming, but actually there is a quite a simple explanation for that. The, the rule is, is quite simple. So we got this Q value 20, for example. And then what we need to do is, if you read this line here, this is a Sanger sequencing and the Illumina 1.8 version, so which is our current version, is this FRED score plus 33. So what this means is if our Q30 is, is 20, and then we need to calculate the 20 plus 33, that will be 53. And then what we need to take care of is what is the character whose ASCII code is 53. So if you look at this, we know that every character has ASCII code. In this case, it's probably somewhere around here, and that is a four. 
So which means in the previous slide, the last line, the fourth line in that particular location, if it says four, that means ASCII code is 53, and that means the Q value is 20, that means the probability of making a mistake is 0 0.01, okay? So let me give you one example here. Uh, it sounds still a little bit confusing. So this is a, a bigger blown of the table that I just showed you. Uh, and uh, most of these are for documentation for historical versions because there are during the technology development, there are different ways of doing the definition, but so far that is pretty stable. And most of them is just the FRAD, the Q score plus 33, and that is the rule that we got. Let me give you an example here. Let me clear the, the line here. Okay, so coming back to this particular uh, new kit had read, and uh, four different lines. The second line is the character, the ACGTs. The last line is quality. So the first information we know from this line is the read length is a 60 base pair. That is pretty straightforward. And uh, if you count it, there are 60 uh, letters. And uh, I know it because I did count it. So now let's come into one specific example here. Okay, in this particular one, this is a probably the position number 43. And we know that from the second line, the character here of the nucleotide is a T. And the quality character is a C. So if we go back to the previous slide, if we check the FRED score, the, the ASCII code, the ASCII code for C is 67, okay? So this is already being defined by ASCII code and, uh, and nothing we can do about it. So from this, what we can calculate is the FRED score is 67 minus 33, which is equal to 34. So this is the FRED quality score. And then if we calculate this p-value is 10 power minus 34 divided by 10, which is 0 0.004, which means in this position, the sequence is very accurate. So if we report it as, as a T, that we will have 0.04% of the chance that we are making a mistake. So this is a very high quality reading position for this particular sequence. So that is the fast Q files. And uh, there, are, there are four lines. The first is identifier. The second line is the sequence rate. The third line is being reserved, which is currently is empty. The last line is a humanly unreadable character. But once you do certain simple conversions that you will have appreciation of the sequencing quality for that particular position. That's all I want to talk about. And one more thing that you don't need to do those calculations. The software itself will. So don't worry uh, about that, but just know what that really means. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next time. We'll go over the SEM and BAM files.